Hey, this is Nate Story with Bright Agritech, and today we're going to talk a little bit more about LEDs, what they are, and how they compare to traditional HID lights. All right, so if you guys are familiar with traditional HID lighting, we're talking about metal halide, we're talking about high pressure sodium. Um, you know, uh, as well as fluorescence, other types of grow lights as well, fluorescence, halogen, that kind of thing. Um, what we're talking about is a filament, oftentimes, and gases. And we're either, we're heating up either and or a filament and gases. And when we heat up that filament, when we're heating up these gases and types of these different types of bulbs, they're emitting light within a spectrum that the plants can use. This technology is over 100 years old for, the most, for most of these uh, types of lighting. And it, you know, it, it works really well. It's not a bad way to grow plants. However, things have started to improve in the land of grow lights. And so I'm here to talk to you about LEDs. LEDs are solid state. That means instead of a filament, instead of gases that we're heating up, we have an anode and a cathode and a little chunk of something between them that when it heats up, when there's, when there's uh, essentially electricity passing through it, it's emitting photons. And it's emitting photons within a very specific spectrum, which is great for us because it means we can emit light exactly in the spectrum range that our plants can use it. Another great thing about LEDs is that they're pretty efficient. So in traditional lights, we're heating up all this stuff, right? We're heating up gas, we're heating up this filament, we're getting it red hot. Uh, with LEDs, that's not what we're doing. We're not really heating these things up to emit light. It's just the passage of electricity through uh, this semiconductive material, right? Um, so what it does is it means that we emit a lot more light and we generate a lot less heat. Now it's not as significant as a lot of people say, but every little bit counts. And the great thing is, is that the efficiency, that is the amount of photons that we're emitting for the amount of electricity that we put into the LED is improving. So it means that eventually we're looking at LEDs that are emitting almost zero heat and lots and lots of light, which is exactly what we want. So another thing to touch on with LEDs, it's important to note, is the ruggedness of these things. So I've got a, a Philips Green Power light in my hands right now. Uh, they're pretty nifty little grow lights, but these things are rugged. I told the, the crew I wanted to hit a wiffle ball with these things in the middle of this, and we didn't have a wiffle ball on hand. But they're rugged, rugged things because they're chips attached to an aluminum core board. There's just not that much that can break. So what it means is that compared to traditional HID lighting, if you drop that stuff, um, some of the lights, if you touch them with oil on your hands, anything like that, you can ruin the light. With this stuff, it's practically, um, it, it's very, very hard to break. Very, very hard to break. So it's very rugged, very useful for growing environments where there's a lot of heat, humidity, things being dropped, banged, clunked around. Another thing to touch on is that we can get these in a lot of different form factors. So with traditional lights, we're pretty much limited by the way the light is shaped, how it's hung, reflectors, that kind of thing, as to how we can actually put it in the growing environment. With LED lights, we run the gamut from traditional HID replacements like a LumaGrow light like this, all the way down to kind of these new form factors that are kind of would be like a T5 fluorescent, something like that. But we can actually make them very long, very short, orient them in almost any shape we want to. That's really, really, really handy. So the one kind of uh, drawback is that right now, LEDs, the upfront cost is a lot higher. Um, but that's coming down dramatically. Definitely check out some of the other videos we've done on the cost and the efficiency of LEDs, as well as our video on Spectrum for more information on how to figure out exactly what the cost is. Not just upfront cost, but the operational cost in the long term. Because what we figured out is that these lights are worth owning. They save you money on electricity and they last for a lot longer than any other kind of lighting. So why is this important? Well, as all of this technology begins to impact how we grow plants and where we can grow plants, it's really under important to understand the differences between the different types of lighting. And as you understand those differences, as you can make informed decisions on what you're purchasing and how you're implementing it, you're going to find that you can grow a lot more for a lot less money. And that's important to everyone. Thanks so much for watching. If you're looking for more information, check out our other YouTube videos on Spectrum and LEDs. Check out USU for more in-depth information on how these things work, how to understand plant spectrum. And uh, make sure that you check out our blog or ask any questions you want. We love hearing from you guys. We love a chance to interact with you and answer your questions. Thanks so much for watching.